remember, Kindle has filmed a Um, let's flip it around here. Hello. Um, before. And I think it was, was that not plugged in on me? I don't know. Are you guys there? Okay. So we are doing this, um, no. Oh no. It's good. Now your picture's bad. <laughs> are we on the right Wi-Fi? Yeah. I made sure we're on the right Wi-Fi on, on the on train. Oh no. Oh wait, that paused it. Oh no! Picture is pixelating. Okay, we will have to come back and try this for round two. This is so sorry. Um, you are competing with Martha on QVC. <laughs> Martha has just stole the show. Wait, it's good now. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That's great. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so we are live tonight um, because we are wanting to make rolled paper flowers. <gasps> <laughs> um, this is something that Kendall and I actually did a ton of. I made a Mother's Day project for my mama and it's a shadow box full of rolled paper flowers. And she loved it. Yeah, she loved it. It was so much fun. And honestly, when Kendall first started talking about rolled paper flowers, this... Hi, Tracy! <laughs> As you guys joined in, sorry for the confusion. Welcome to the live stream. <laughs> um, this looks really confusing to me. And Kendall and I have went through and made a ton of these, which mm -hmm. has been actually quite fun. But um, tonight we thought we'd talk about it. So if you guys have ever made rolled paper flowers, let us know in the comments. Okay, multitasking, watching you and Martha on QVC. That's adorable. We were actually just watching we Martha. We were just <laughs> watching Martha and all of the crazy projects they're making over there. I am dying for the checkerboard uh, table. I love that project. Um, so that's fun, but we have three pastel colors that we have cut with our Cricut. Have you guys ever made rolled paper flowers? Like what are your thoughts on it? Let us know. Kendall, what were your thoughts when you first started making rolled paper flowers? I was terrified because I'm just a new Tom crafter and I was like, I'm going to need Tanner's help for this. <laughs> and honestly, I had never really tackled rolled paper flowers as surprising as it is. I've never had a desire before Kendall asked me to um, work with her on this project to make them. Um, so Mary says she's tried to make rolled flowers, but haven't had success. Well, hopefully we can help you, Mary. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, I burned my fingers on the hot glue. Me too. <laughs> that is a struggle. Um, that's struggle bus for me. I've made, I have, Tracy, have you or have you not made any rolled paper flowers? <laughs> when I first started, they made my fingers sore. My biggest trouble trouble is after, so you cut it, right? So what we're gonna do tonight, we're gonna go through this process, but we'll just chat about it for a minute, is after you cut it, you know, I, I get the creasing, so we use a bone folder. I um, love the bone folder. The bone folder's so it's good. It's a need. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my struggle is like to know how tight to make it. Yeah. But Kendall does that so much better. She can get it started and then I can finish it off and then, you know, we, we had a really good process. We made, a ton in such a small amount of time mm -hmm. for the shadow box. I think, how many, was it four a row? And we had like we had four, four rows, rows, I think. Yeah, so like within an hour, he had like almost 20, like 16 done, um, which was really pretty impressive, just two people, but really it was the cricket doing the work. Yeah, we're just the cricket's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> As Martha says. <laughs> the cricket quilting tool made it way easier. <gasps> I don't have, 
I don't, think I don't I know what that is. I don't know what that is either. I think I know what it is, but I don't have it. So let's show you guys. Kendall, do you know where we got this pattern? I just searched rolled paper flowers. So do do do. Um, oh my goodness. What I found. So this is what we found. Let me move my computer. Um, this is what we found. This pattern is probably the go-to. Quilling. Quilling. Oh. Um, this is, it's a tool in the paper kit. We were just looking at that at Hobby Lobby and wondering mm -hmm. what to use with it. Um, but anyway, so this is like, I feel like the most basic, simplest um, rolled paper flower template. It's like the go-to, right? It makes roses, by the way. So this makes the, the roses. And if you are new to rolled paper flowers, it's like a whole huge industry um and if you really want to get probably like the best ones leahgriffith.com she's my girl love leah uh, she needs to teach me and kindle how to make rolled paper yeah, flowers she really because does. she is like amazing when it comes to anything anything um paper flowers i have got to spend time with her and she's like crazy awesome so anyway after you cut this out which is one simple thing and kindle found to take up more room on her canvas let's go ahead and tilt this up so we can sort of see what we're doing here. Um, let's get this over. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is get this over and then you can have here what we've cut out. Um, Kindle found the larger that you cut it, so we have like a whole 12 by 12 mat, that it'll make you some pretty decent size flowers. And you can make up any size by how tight you roll it. So do you wanna expand on what that really means, like how tight? Um, I would just have to show them. Okay, so let's let's get to it. So do you want to start sharing with them like how to like crease it with a bone folder? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So you figure out which way you're rolling it. Should be this way. So you're gonna take the bone folder and you're just gonna Yeah, you're really just wanting to get it creased and make it look to start off the roll. Look at that. And you have to be really careful because- Oh my gosh, you can Amber, <laughs> sorry to interrupt Kendall. I always like to announce when we have someone new watching live for the first time. Amber, welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight we are making rolled paper flowers. Hi so. Amber. Yes, yay. And Amber has been wanting to learn how to make rolled flowers. Well, hopefully we can teach you. Yes. We're just having a fun craft night here. Very laid back. So everyone, welcome Amber to the live stream. So we have someone um, that has tried a smaller size with a soda can. Ooh, I have seen those, those look very fun. So all this is is really getting it going and look at how it's already creased. And haven't we read where it says that they actually do this process twice that you're about to do? Yeah, just to make, get it like extra. Extra. Um, so what would you, so is this a good tight roll? Do you try to keep it close together like you're doing right now normally? Yes, and then once you get it rolled together, you can decide what you want it to be, how tight you want it. I love that. So do you feel like when you're making the rolled flowers that you can kind of like, there isn't any mistakes? Like that's what I want everyone to know is like, if you make a mistake, you can stop what you're doing. Definitely. And start from the top <laughs> because unlike a vinyl project, like if you're in the middle of doing a vinyl project and you rip a piece of vinyl, it's yeah, over. Yeah, you have to start over. But with this, you can just unroll it and try again. But once you hot glue it, <laughs> that's done. <laughs> yeah, so after you use the hot glue, it's over, um, which we really love hot glue because it works really fast. Um, but you just want to make sure it's exactly where you want it to be and right when you're hot gluing it It's honestly a little difficult. I would in my opinion um, to get the hot glue To be able to hot glue and hold it in place yes. at the same time yes. So that's something you want to take your time with and go for it So Kathy just set up her Cricut today and did the test project that came with it. Yay! Oh, welcome yay. to the Cricut family You're gonna fall in love with Cricut at, If you if sure. she's not already yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, we are so excited um, to be just hanging out and crafting. How was your Thursday? Um, we are having so much fun. So this is just our first roll, and this looks so good, Kendall. Thank you. So it is one of those processes that you want to take time, and I'm actually going to go ahead and start creasing my blue right here. 
I want to miss out so people can focus on And then on this little flowers. flap at the bottom here, that's the bottom of your flower. Oh, show them. So you kind of just want to let it unravel a little bit. Look at that. And there's your flower. That's your flower. Oh my gosh. So do you want to show them the difference if you go through it? Do you feel like it makes a really big difference to go through for a second time? Or if you're happy with this, should you stick with it? I'm going to say if you're happy with it, you should stick with it. Uh-huh. But that's just because I'd be afraid I'd mess it up and not do get it perfect. down just a little bit? Yeah, down. Yeah, look at that. So this is a perfect little flower to get started with. And it's so easy. It's super simple. So, Kendall, do you want me to add a little hot glue yes, to put please. this together? And it's always nice to have a little friend. And I like to make sure we just go across the edges and be really mindful of your friend's fingers. Oh, yes. Please do not burn me. <laughs> And I've left my hot glue gun sit here a little too long because we've been watching Martha. And Kendall, I don't know how close I can get to your fingers without burning. Them. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now she just wants to position it down and just hold it. And you can see if you need to reposition it. And it's I like to fold the hot glue up if there's a little piece. So like right here, we have a little too much glue. You can just fold that up a little and it doesn't hurt anything. And look at this. Kendall's flower. Check that out, guys. Roll paper flower, such an easy design. And like I said, Leah has so many more um, in, like crazy awesome designs. Here, you can hold this one. Um, and all it is is you cut this. So again, for anyone just tuning in, we're gonna go through this process again. Um, what you do, whoops. You just take it, you cut the design. There's so many in Cricut. You can get grab them from online. And then you just want to take it off your mat, like so. Crazy, right? Simple design. We cut ours fairly large because, I mean, I don't think we want to make too many flowers. Mm -hmm. Like the least flowers that you have to make is awesome. You take the, this off the mat and then you have this and we just want to crease it. So I, you can really crease it whichever way you want. Um, the main purpose is just getting the paper a little more flexible. So you just want to run through this. However, you can start at either end, I think. I don't think it makes a difference. It, it's better if you start at the beginning. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> that way you can see which way yeah. you're folding it, but it doesn't matter. Tracy actually did her first project with the knife blade today. <gasps> Yay, uh, Tracy! Mary asked, if you only put glue on the outside edge, doesn't the center come loose? No. No, yeah, so show her, let's show her. So we just really did the edges and everything stays in place. Let's show her the middle pieces that have not made any any movements. So check that out. Love it. So easy, super, super simple. So all I'm doing is creasing this. And this is one reason why, you know, going through it for a second time is really great. And it just, you know it's, you know it's ready when everything's starting to curl up. Um, and this is one of the things that you wanna try to keep it organized and work with it so that you don't rip your paper. So it's very easy to rip it using the bone folder. Yes, so when you careful. yeah, when you're creasing it, it is super easy to start that. So do you want to give them tips on how to start this off in the perfect way? Yeah. Um, okay. Because that was that's my hardest part. So I always happening. start from the top right here, and then I like to do it as tight as I can. So as tight as you can. Do you have any tips for look look at that tightness? So you're just cre you're just going slow you can, in the beginning. I like to fold this part right here over to this crease. Okay, that's a great tip. And so you're about half keep, and half. Mm -hmm, and I just keep rolling, and I make sure I keep this even at the bottom. So that is a big like for me. You know, everyone watching knows I hate weeding. I love everything going fast. Making sure it lines up at the bottom, I think, is what's going to make sure that you get this awesome like result. Um, because you, if you just do whatever and you're not paying attention for that, I don't think you get as nice um, flower look. Oh, we have a, someone commenting, an alligator clip also makes rolling easy and faster. Alligator clips come in handy for so many different projects. They are super awesome. Wanda, hello from Florida. Hello, Hi, Betty. Oh my gosh, the Cricut Explorer did an awesome job in cutting the roll. Yes, every machine can cut these, and that's what I love, mm -hmm. is if you have a maker, an explorer, whatever you may have, if you just ordered the new Martha Stewart machine, you are gonna be able to make so many awesome flowers. <gasps> hello, Tammy from Maryland. Oh my 
my gosh, we are having so much fun crafting tonight. What are you guys crafting tonight? Yeah. Oh, Alicia says, I feel so dumb. What is an alligator clip? Don't feel bad, Alicia. I don't know either. <laughs> You're about to pull up a picture of one. Flowers are so fun to make. It's one of those crafts that I never really thought to make with my Cricut. Hi from Texas. Oh, hey from Texas, Georgia. Look at this, and it's just fun. And it's so easy. That's the great thing about it. But honestly, it's really like overwhelming, I think, because there's so many different paper at first, templates. Yes. Um, is there a reason that you picked the rose template? Do you feel like it was the easiest one? Yes, and my mom's favorite rose is actually flowers. Her favorite, <laughs> <laughs> her favorite flowers are actually roses. <laughs> so that's a really great starting point, especially for Mother's Day. And this is, like, with these paper flowers, guys, this is a great um, three-dimensional project yes. that you can really take paper and create something really fun. If you want to put it on a canvas, it would really make your canvas pop out. Yes, and what I want to do next is try this with felt, as we were looking at it Hobby yes. Lobby today. Yes. Oh, and so Kendall's letting it spin out just to the point where she likes it. Notice that. It's hard to get it right where you like it. <laughs> yeah. And the cool thing is if we lost it, we could root start from the See top right again. how I lost it and then I just... Yeah. So you tighten it back up and it's good to go. So I'm going to just get your glue. And notice we're just putting the glue around, around, the, the, around the circle part. Because if you get it, it in the middle, if you really get it in the middle, it actually does you more harm than good. It'll actually we... show up in the middle of the flower. Yeah, it will show up. Oops. So as you can see here, we've lost a little and spin your hot glue gun so the strings don't stick. That is a great hot glue gun tip. And then- Look how beautiful this one Love it. Is. And let's make sure we fold in those edges. All of them. It's, my, it's my favorite tip is to make sure, because I hate hot glue gun strings on any project. If you just fold those edges up, you're creasing the paper and then it's just going to stick. So you Brittany is going to try this this weekend. Yeah, Brittany, you're going to have so much fun making these rolled paper flowers. They are super easy. And look, we're almost done with two. And if you don't like this crease right here, you can just continue to fold it up just like that. You can put some more hot glue right there too. Yeah, you could totally put some more hot glue. But honestly, what we loved is when we were making this, we were at one of Kendall's like lifelong friend's house <laughs> and her mom was so supportive talking about the different types of flowers. How this one isn't tightly as tightly rolled. It's different blooms of the season. That's what <laughs> yeah. she was talking about. <laughs> so it's a really great um attitude to have. So this is a great time to point out that if you had hot glue all over this, yes it would all stay in place. But as you can see here the hot glue would actually be able to be seen and it does show so much. Renee just said, just got done watching Martha Stewart on QVC selling her machine. Um, she sure seemed clueless. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesse, how are you? If you tip the edges out of the bone folder, you can get a little more realistic shape. Oh, what do you, so if we like, are you saying crease more of the, these sides? <laughs> if you tipped the edges out. Oh, oh, like, oh, if you're like tipping them out? Ooh. That makes sense. Do more of a. Oh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, look at that, Jesse. Thank that. you. The bone folder, honestly, guys, if you do not have a bone folder, which I know a lot of you are already amazing paper crafters, um, the bone folder is such a great tool to have if you're wanting to make rolled paper flowers or 3D projects. Or honestly, the main reason most people have bone folders is for card making. Um, and what I love about this is after your Cricut can does a score line what you want to be able to do is to go back in and crease the score line. So that's where a bone folder comes in super, super handy. Oh, read Alicia's comment because this is totally Alicia projects can watch says, me. I've seen this in the shadow box with a cute saying on the outer glass. I'm thinking that will be a new project now that I've seen how easy this is. Alicia, that's actually what I made my grandmother. It says, I love you, Mamma, on it. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, grab your phone so they can okay. see it. Grab it, yes, they need to see Kindle's project and maybe we can pull up what an alligator alligator clip is. Um, oh my gosh, Michelle says they definitely need to purchase your class. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Oh, if you guys are just tuning in, we are talking everything rolled paper flowers tonight, but look at the project Kindle made. Oh, zoom in, yes, let's show them. I Kindle did so well on this project, we love it. And she was able to cut the vinyl out um, with 
just regular white vinyl and put on there. Super fun. It was so easy. It was on sale at Hobby Lobby. And what we did was for the different colors, like the orange, we didn't put a pack of paper. Or we bought brand. a pack of cardstock that was already ombre. Oh, yes, it's right here. So this is not the pack that we used, but this is a pack we purchased today. It's the, this is a great way, if you all are interested in paper um, as much as I am, you know that I usually like to buy, you know, really great thick paper, but this is a great time where you can use like the paper studio that is a little bit thinner because you want it to be able to be folded. You want to use the thinner paper to get um, the awesome results. So even though this isn't like 120 pound cardstock that I would normally use, amazing time to stock up on this when it's 50% off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't, we all love a sale. So this is the pastel pack that we're working with tonight and it has all kinds of different colors. Um, this is where the blue came from and then the yellow is from different pack. Or, no, it's from here too. It's from here too. Yeah, Kendall rocked it. Thanks guys. Yeah. Okay, Kendall, last one. Do you want to crease it? Sure. <laughs> we need to do the ends. Yes, the ends. So is there a proper place to start the bone folding process? Because I get confused in this step. Um, I get confused too. But you just have to think <laughs> about which way you're rolling it. That's the best thing for me to do. So you like. Okay, so you like. <laughs> so right, how you're, however you're gonna fold it, you want to make sure that you crease it that way as well, right? Yes, yeah, like you want to round it, okay. kind of round it with the bone folder. Okay. That's a great tip. So Connie wants to know how big did you make the flowers? And Connie, we made these super large. So mm -hmm. to get this size, which is a pretty decent size, um, we cut this at is large as the mat so i think it was like a little bit less than it's like 11. it was like 11. 11 and a half maybe yeah that's almost as big as you can do it and this gets you a decent size rose so mm -hmm. think about that um when you're making it and if you want these smaller i definitely recommend starting out bigger because i yes, feel like the that's smaller is more intricate and mm -hmm. you really have to roll those tighter yeah and you have to roll those tighter and i think if you can master the larger ones then work yourself down yes. um so you're not having to worry so much or make as many flowers if you're making a shadow box yeah with the shadow box i think it would have took us double the time if we yes. did only say six inch flowers i love making many flowers just like I can get about nine on 12, a 12 by 12. Oh, many, you can make nine flowers on a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Oh my Many goodness. flowers. I think that's when you really need the tools that we were looking at today, the quilling mm -hmm. uh, paper pack tools from Cricut. That's when that comes in handy. Okay, Kendall, you were jumping ahead. We need so to break this down. So look at how it's already rolled for you when you use the bone folder. <laughs> <laughs> the bone folder does all the work, guys, and that's what I and love. And you just have to go behind it and roll. So yeah, show them your tip because I really think this is a great way for them to okay. move your hand up a little. Yeah, right there, perfect. <laughs> so you just take this edge right here and get it to this and you start rolling from there. Awesome. Super easy, super fun. Colleen, welcome to the live stream. Hello from Las Vegas. Renee says, I saw someone using a power tool and a bobby pin to spin and make her flowers. I about wow. fell over when I saw it. <gasps> we need to interview yeah, her we, on the show. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Yes. Oh, Nikki, hello from Lady, View, Lady Lake, Florida. Hi, Emma from Georgia. Welcome. And guys, this is a great time to plug our membership, makersgonnalearn.com. We are working on some really fun files for you guys. Um, if you have not seen any of our videos this week, we launched our new summer collection, and then we also had some really fun time crafting this week doing print and cut. So be sure to head on over to the channel and check out all of our other videos we've uploaded this week because we do have our new programming schedule where we're uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new videos. And then we're live streaming Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, and then Kathy uh, says, love the membership, yay! What is your guys' favorite, um, what is it called, Tanner? A crap cut file? Yes, the glitter. Oh, yes. Mine is the crafting one. It is so cute. <laughs> I just recently used the created to craft or created to create. Oh, let's show your computer. 
I just used that one, and I used um, She Believes mm -hmm. She Could Cry, so she did. Yes, so Kindle has loved, we have a whole collection, so if you're not familiar with the membership, we have so many different collections and new ones coming every single month. So Kindle used our maker collection to make put this on her computer, and can we just take a moment that Kindle is so much more patient than me. She sat here yesterday, guys, we did this entire thing like a pro, complete newbie within her first month or two of Cricut, did this without anything using the foil adhesive, and I'm just really proud of her. But this is from our Makers Collection, and we have over like 300 digital cut files. So if you are wanting to have a really awesome membership where you get access to our Facebook group, and we do exclusive live streams, we did one this week teaching everyone um, about layering vinyl, which we had so much fun. Um, but we talk about all kinds of things, all related to Cricut and everything. So if you would like to join, there is a link in the description so you can check that out. But we are making rolled paper flowers. I just have to call that out because you guys know how passionate I am about inspire pe inspiring people to get creative. So the reason why we have the membership is to spark creativity and really get people to use their awesome Cricuts. Okay, so now? Here we go. Oh, this is a great process. This is a, that's great. So you can hold it. What we can do is just hold it like that, and then I'm going to come in. And burn my fingers. <laughs> I'm not going to burn Kindle's <laughs> fingers, guys. That would be super funny for the show, though. Do, do, do. And then after it will Sheila crease it. Sheila says she can't figure out the bottom. So Sheila says, I, I can't figure out the bottom. The bottom is a little hard. Oh, let's make sure. Let's focus on Sorry. Getting that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. And then fold it up. So, yeah, just fold up those edges. Make sure you don't touch the hot glue, Kindle. Here, I, I'll catch you. Okay. I'll, if, if anyone has to get burnt, I will get burnt <laughs> for everyone. That would, that would not be good. So if you're losing anything, this is a great time to just fold it up. Make sure it's taut. Love this process. And then you have you your old flower. And then like Jesse said, you can take your bone folder. Yes, I love I that. Love Thank that. You, Jessie. Jessie's <laughs> rocking it. Just use your little bone folder, crease those edges just like that, like a champ. Rolled flowers out of felt are super popular for headbands for babies and toddlers. Just make sure you use the wool felt, not the plastic ones from the kids section of the craft store. Oh, that's a great tip. Thank you. Jessie's just... She's rocking it. Yeah. She, me and her have been friends online since I got started practically. Um, Mary says, I think my problem was that I was using um, 80 pound cardstock. I believe this is 80 pound cardstock. So if you, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's about creasing it. So Mary, if you have a bone folder, I think it'll change your yes, roll of paper life. it rolls it for you. <laughs> you just go behind it. <laughs> and honestly, maybe we should test some different alternatives. Like, could you use a gift card to crease your paper? Like that would be something Let's that we're going to have to it. test. So should we cut yeah. another one? Yeah, Yeah. Sure. okay, we are gonna test to see if you don't have a bone folder and you don't wanna buy it, why have to spend money that you may not want to? So we're gonna cut another one out for you guys. Um, what color should we make it? Yes, so we've already made a blue one, a pink one, a yellow one, um, and what other colors? <gasps> should we do a purple? Yes. Guys, what are you all thinking? Purple, I think purple, Renee says purple. Renee already said purple, she is, You've she got knows. It, okay, we're getting the purple out. All the papers are wanting to come. This mat, I'm waiting for it to stop working, but we're gonna, we're gonna stretch the limits of the mats to that. I saw someone roll the top of the flowers around a pencil to curve the petals. We could use pencils. There's so many different methods. I love this, guys. And that's why it's so fun to come on here to hear what other people are doing. Because, you know, when you're crafting, it is kind of lonely. So if you're able to um, hang out and craft with others, which is what we're doing right now, <laughs> um, we are able to do some really fun stuff. So we're going to load this into the Cricut. Kindle, do you want to pull up Design Space? I think of I have the course. tab open. Yay! And then just press, press the Make It. Um, and then Tanner likes fast mode on. We are so. <laughs> We have a debate. How many people actually use fast mode? Kindle will not use fast mode it makes me nervous <laughs> another person has commented try with a chopstick i love that idea a wooden spoon handle <gasps> Ooh, changing up the game so we're connecting via bluetooth me emma uses fast mode thank you emma i'm with you girl um we love our fast mode maybe it's just me <laughs> or a popsicle stick 
I think the popsicle stick is a great idea. It I'm going to find idea. it. Let me, let's see if that connects. Kendall, let them know what's happening. I know I have one. Oh, right here. Mary uses fast mode for everything. Yay! That's not really intricate. I'm honestly scared too. <gasps> Thank you, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> me, especially when riding. Okay, here's my thought. I love fast mode. <laughs> That's all I can say is I just love fast mode. It has to be one of my favorite things. We're turning it on right now. Um, so Tanner, who's your partner in crime tonight? This is my I'm best Kendall, friend. Hi. Me and Kendall have been friends since kindergarten. One of my favorite stories about Kendall. Fast mode saves a lot of time. You rock Mary. You need to listen to Mary. She's smart. Um, Kendall and I have been friends since kindergarten. And one of the first times I had to pull a card <laughs> In kindergarten, it was very devastating because I was such a teacher's pet. I was that kid. Shocker. And um, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kendall is spelled with an E. So oh, it's hi, Belinda. Belinda and I got to meet at one of the cricket events. Oh, really? I yes. love you guys. I'm so happy to be here. I watch all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so I was really upset that I had to pull a card, right? And Kendall said, I was almost about to break out in tears. And Kendall said, oh, Tanner, it's fun. I do this all the time. <laughs> And without that, I would have never, I would have probably just started crying and it would have been really embarrassing. <laughs> I just waited until I got in the car with my mom. <laughs> and this is the truest story I probably have to share on the internet. My mat is getting a little worn out. It is moving, but hey, it cut. So guys, if you are just tuning in, this is a perfect time to, to tune in because we are going to make another roll paper flower. Shh, let's sh pull one up so we can show them. We have been making so many roll paper flowers. I love these and they're so easy. Kendall is a true friend. Oh. <laughs> um, so we have just cut this again. Let's get in our other position. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's see what we, let's see what you all see. Oh, let's let it focus, focus. Why is it not focusing? I'm going to put my finger over it. You need to teach Martha how to remove paper from the mat. <laughs> oh, guys, Martha needs to retire, I guess. Like, she needs, she's had her run. We love her. She's awesome. We all know she's awesome. But yeah, maybe Tom for her to retire. <laughs> um, okay, so we have our roll paper flower. Kendall, I'm so excited. Which method should we try? We have had things about using chopsticks. We've had things talking about using popsicle sticks. We know the bone folder works great, and I'm going to pull out... A pen. We need to try Ooh, we can try a pen. Actually, we're not going to use a debit card today because my wallet is in my phone. <laughs> a pen. We'll start using a popsicle stick, and then I think we'll use the pen for the... Ooh. Yes. This is working very nicely. Yeah, look at this. I love, this is honestly one of my favorite reasons crafting with you guys because we can talk about things. It learns so much. Yes. Mary used a wooden dowel to roll the edges. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to rip it. <laughs> hey, I think every retired person is living the life I want to live. Yes, my grandparents, let me tell you. <laughs> My grandparents, as you got all watched this week, Shopping with Mamaw, they're retired and proud, but I feel like Martha needs to stop treating cricketing like a job and just have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? I would love that. She um, needs to get more involved in the community. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yes. yes. That was a train wreck. <laughs> Oh, oh, Belinda's comment, I'm not reading, but I am laughing very much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, segueing the, the story, um, I hope you all are having a great week. What have you all been up to? Is there been any fun crafting happening? Um, for anyone in the Makers Gonna Learn community, I hope you've downloaded your summer collection yes. and then started watching all of it, um, all of the fun projects. Mary says retirement is the best. Oh, we have a bug. Ew, 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 ew. ew. <laughs> Got the bug. No worries. Looks like a... Yeah, I don't know why <laughs> we 
just had a bug. I hope someone saw that. Um, anyway, Mary says retirement is the best. I put in my 30 years as a software developer and I deserve it. Yes, yes Mary. Mary. I bet software development was fun though. Seriously, removing paper from the mat, I was yelling at the TV. No, so guys, right before we came on, we actually did tune in for the QVC just because I was really excited um, to see QVC um, partnering with Cricut for this with Martha because it was the first time, um, you know, Cricut's been on QVC. So I'm pretty sure at least since I've been following them. Um, so it was a really important time for everyone at Cricut, but yeah, there was, there was some interesting times happening. Oh my gosh. Oh, Mary loved it until she became a manager. Oh. That's the problem with so many jobs is that people love, they go into a position, love what they do, and then when, is, when you get a promotion and you start leveling up, what happens is you start having to manage people. Yeah. And managing people, honestly... It's like babysitting. <laughs> Kendall is a manager at one of our... Local um, grocery store. Food City. So Kendall knows um, all about managing people. Um... Probably she has to manage way more people than I do. But even the people that work really hard, you still have to make sure, um, you know, things get done and whatnot. So we're luckily to be blessed with working with amazing people like Rachel. And guys, if you only knew how hard Rachel works. We love Rachel. Rachel's the best. Rachel's been full time. Rachel's an angel. Ra Rachel is an angel and she's been full time with our company. Um, and I'm so blessed to have her. Um, she's been full time for two years. And she's honestly one of the best things that's ever happened to our business. And I just am incredibly blessed to have her on our team. And Mary, who you guys talk to if you have a customer service issue, is amazing. Oh, yes, and we Mary love is. Mary. So everyone works really hard on the team. Don't have issues with the men. Only the women were problems. <laughs> Alicia is going back to school for graphic design. Yay! Oh my gosh. Come, come work with us in design craft files. <laughs> we have a great team of designers that we work with, so let me know. I just used the edge of my desk to bend the pedals. Oh, you oh. could use the side of your desk. That's a great idea. Okay, so now I'm going to use the pin and crease these edges a little bit. Um, mm, I, I think know. I think this would work better. Yeah, because the pin was like just creasing it too much, and you couldn't really get a grasp of it of the pin as you fold it. Look at how tight Kindle got this. I, that, Kindle, I think this is one of my favorites because you got it so realistic in the middle. Thank you. You're rocking it. Look at this, guys. Look at. I think these. it was the popsicle stick. Really? Actually, because the bone folder, I think it may have creased it too much, but with the popsicle stick, it helped. Huh. It. What do you guys think? You all have got to see us make four awesome, easy roll paper flowers here tonight. I hope this shows with you shares with you guys how easy it is. I almost thought about switching back to my switching my major, but I think my husband would blank off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would just continue to be a mechanical. Oh, okay. Put the pin on the back side and, and roll, roll it. it. Okay, let's try this here. You want to try it? On the, back on the back side. side. So, so this I think side? reverse, I think, and roll it. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I that's awesome. Now. I like that. <gasps> Everyone's saying they love them. Yay. Oh, I actually love the pin. Look much at better. this. <gasps> Look at this. Mary. Oh my gosh, you all are rocking it tonight. Everyone is. And guys, if you love crafting with me and Kindle, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so we know that you all are having fun tonight. Yes. Look at this. The pin is rocking it. So even though we still love the bone folder and we think the bone folder is amazing, there are other alternatives from using the side of your desk to a pin to a popsicle stick. You can always get really creative. I'm still interested in trying out a gift card or a credit card or something like that just to see how it works. Mary said, learn that from Leo on Dreaming Tree. Cool. I'm going to make the flowers now. I've been kind of scared to try it. <gasps> yes. 
Yay! And that's honestly one of the biggest reasons why I think Kendall and I wanted to go live tonight. It's a show, you guys. It isn't scary. Yeah. Because it is looking at it, but once you actually learn how, it's pretty simple. Yeah, and I think this can give everyone the confidence to go at it with the rolled paper flowers because they are so fun. You can take a simple piece of paper and have something really intricate and something fun that you can say you made really, really easily. I like to ink edges too before rolling. <gasps> Kendall, that is a whole new <gasps> level. You, I'm gonna have to show you what inking the edges mean because that's gonna make it look so much more realistic, especially with succulents. Kendall's hands are <laughs> so dainty. She should be a hand model. You actually just got engaged if you guys wanna see my ring. <laughs> it was my grandmother's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kendall, Kendall has the most sweetest voice. <gasps> oh, thank you. Aww. I ink all what of my flowers. Inking? Okay, Kendall. So inking is when you take like an ink pad, you know, when you stay up, uh, mm -hmm. and they just like ink the ink the edges before it's rolled, mm -hmm. so it shows more of a realistic look for what whatever flower you're I'm making. I'm to try that. Yes. Hi, Diane. You're in Central Florida. How fun! Oh, everyone's congratulating oh, thank Kendall. You. Yeah, Kendall's marrying um, one of my old neighbors. It's so funny, and he's <laughs> he's probably the he's super cool. Um, his name's Michael. We've known each other since kindergarten too. Yeah, <laughs> we've all known each other. It's such a small town here. Yes, Renee, I'm actually gonna use the cricket for my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kendall's go rock it with her wedding decor. Okay, I need to Google alligator clips okay. and inking edges. Oh, let's Google the alligator clips. We are so excited. Um, so anyone that is um, curious on what an alligator clip is, Kendall is going to Google it for us as we speak um, so that everyone knows what an alligator clip is. Let's pull up those Google images. Do, do, do. Inking edges makes it look amazing. Yes, and if you don't have ink, I saw Amber from Damask Love. Is this an alligator yes, clip? Yes, that is their alligator clips. Let's zoom Zoom in. This is what an alligator clip is, guys. Um, you can shade the edges with ink, yes. So this is an alligator clip for anyone curious. And then um, there are some really fun projects on Instagram that you can look up. Um, and it just shows like the different colors. So like for succulents, um, the edges, you know, you'd use green paper, but then you would ink the edges purple because of the yes. succulent look, right? So it gives a really more realistic look because after you cut it, before you fold it, is when you do the inking part. And it just looks really great. So if you guys are interested in learning about that, we can definitely do that sometime. You have to. Especially because I think succulents are one of my favorite projects to make with, um, paper. Mm -hmm. it, the succulents are one of my favorites and super trendy. So anyway, guys, I am so excited. Used to call those roach clip. Oh, <laughs> changing the game, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. But we have had so much fun. Let's show them one last time. Roll paper flowers. If you guys have want any of our tips, um, watch the video after it ends. We are so excited to make these with you guys. Um, so again, thank you all for hanging out with us. I know Martha has been live as well on QVC. So thanks for taking the time out um, to hang out with us. And Kendall, we all want you to come back and craft. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna have to come back and craft with us. Um, but I hope you guys have a fantastic Thursday. And guys, I wanna give you a sneak peek if I have the project. Tomorrow we are using, I don't know where the project is. I think Rachel has already took it inside. Um, but tomorrow on YouTube, we are posting a video and we are using Cricut iron-on designs on wood and making a really awesome memo board. No, that's not, we're making this huge memo board. I wish it was that, <laughs> um, it's, but yeah. So we're making a really fun project. So be sure to head over to the channel tomorrow to catch that video. I hope you guys are enjoying the new video quality. We have been working super hard on upping that and making some really great videos. So. Oh my gosh, Alicia, thank you guys. I love live hangouts. I learn so much and get so stoked about new projects. Yay! Mary Stevens, I believe we will be posting the video around 3 p.m. Eastern or a little earlier. By the latest 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, but it's not a live video. It's a recorded one that we've produced. So I'm super excited. So have a great night, everyone. Thank you, Tracy, for tuning in. Oh, Thanks for night, hanging. Tracy. Oh my gosh. Thank Emma, thank you for watching and I hope you all have a fantastic end of your week. Enjoy your Friday, guys. Bye.